Welcome to the MSJC Internet Authoring Videocast. In this guided practice video, you'll be learning how to add fonts and colors to your Java GUI apps. Here we are in NetBeans. I've just made a copy of what I was showing you in the previous guided practice 9b. So we'll make some changes here. I'm going to get rid of this label. I'm going to give these labels a little bit more meaningful name. So I'll make this F name. L name. And date. And then we'll need to just come down here. We'll get rid of that addition and then just reflect our new names here for each of those three labels. And I'm going to change my grid layout to three by one. So three rows, one column. Let's go ahead and run that. And there's what we've got. The first thing I want to show you here is how to add a font object into your project. So we'll just come here and put it right below container. We could put it below the labels. It doesn't really matter the order. So we'll create a new font object. Call it FNT and then that's going to be a new font object and it's in the constructor now that we can put in the font name, the font style, and then the point size for the font. So the family name is going to be a string value, so that's monospaced, or monospace. And then comma, our second parameter, will be font.bold, to make it a bold font and then 36 for the point size. So now that we've created the font, we need to go ahead and uh, set the font for one of our labels. So let's just go down here and uh, right below the first name label, I'll go ahead and do F name. So that's the label I want to change. Oops, that's going to be capital N. That's the label I want to change there and then use the set font method and then pass to it that font that we just created up above there. So let's go ahead and run this and you can see there is the change that we've made to the first name label. Now the next thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and add color to it. So we'll just go up here create a color object We'll call it four color. And that'll be an instance of a new color class. And we'll give it a value of 255, 125, and 80. So just like we did before, now we need to go ahead and set the foreground color for our label. So we'll come down here right below our our set font method. We'll add the set foreground method and pass to it our four color. And we'll go ahead and run it. And there you can see the new color being applied. Now if we wanted to, we could also use a built-in color and set the background And that's going to be color dot white. Go ahead and run that. And we don't see anything. And that's because 
the background color by default is 100% transparent. There's no opacity being applied to that. So the trick of applying your background color is you also have to change the opacity. So we need to add one more statement here, which is for our F name, which is the J label. We want to use its set opaque method and set that to true. Now when we run it, there you can see the white background being applied to the J label. Now let me change this up a little bit and make it so we actually do that on the last name label. And there you can see the difference. A little bit more obvious that way. So the key to background color, make sure that you set the J label using the set opaque method of the J label, set it to true, and then go ahead and apply any color that you want to it. So for this assignment, what I want you to do is create a font instance and apply it to one of your J labels. So just need three J labels just like we had from the previous guided practice. So assign a font instance to one of the J labels, create a custom color and apply it to one of your labels, and then also use a built-in color and apply it to one of the labels. Or you can also apply background if you like. So that's it for this guided practice. Until next time, happy coding! If you like this video, please click the like button and leave us a comment down below. I also would appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click the notification bell so that you'll be notified when new videos are posted.